lighter, we're faster. So nice. When that don't work, we're nastier. My name is Jeff Bucknam. I'm actually the son of Ronnie Bucknam, who was in the 1966 uh, actual Le Mans race, finished third. So I was driving his car, the replica car in the movie, not to mention many other cars in the movie, but that was my main purpose was to have a tribute to be driving my father's car um, that he drove uh, in the movie. I had the opportunity to race at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. I raced for 10 years in America. Um, had a couple of years racing in Indy cars, so the top level of uh, auto racing in America. So I've raced the Indy 500 twice. And I'd done a few commercials and things, but nothing on a, a scale of this size in the movie industry. Some scenes, sure, we're doing 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, but a lot of scenes were well into the 100 and plus mile an hour situation where we're sliding the cars and touching and, and bumping each other for the effects of real racing. These replica cars were probably represented more of the uh, cars back in the day um, because they weren't actual race cars that, that we were using. They were replica cars. <clears throat> so it was a pretty big concern for all of us. Fortunately, um, our boss, our stunt coordinator, was Robert Nagel, who has a racing history from his early years but has spent many years in the movie industry. He, he was the key to, to making sure that we were safe, um, all the way from making sure our, all of our seat belts and, and equipment inside the cars for safety was, was perfect, how we wanted it before we got out into the filming. He had hired all racing drivers, f for the most part. There was a few guys that hadn't, but they'd done other stunt work in Hollywood. Um, so we were real familiar with racing. These are racing drivers for decades. Um, so we, it, it was kind of a, a comfortable place for us to do, even though we were filming, we're used to running at 100, 200 miles an hour, you know, right next to each other. And then um, with Robert Nagel being the key person, he, it, we had our earpieces to listen to him. And unless Robert Nagel said, action, 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 go, none of us moved. So he was our key. He kept us safe. And that's who we used to make sure that everything was done at the same time. Everybody down to your pit marshals and your mechanics and everybody's already dressed out in the era. I would see people and it was hard not to think of them like these, this is how these guys dress. I mean, it was really like back in the day. Then at the end of the day, everybody go into their regular street clothes and you almost didn't recognize them, you know. Shut your mouth and let me do my thing. All right. Morning, Shelby. Morning, Molly. I'm yours. I'll go to hell. For sure, my dad was uh, close with Carol Shelby. They they um, they were good friends. Um, of, you know, they worked on many projects together and things. And um, being both from California, my dad was a Southern California uh, young man, racing driver, and things. So they were super close. What do you drive now? <laughs> uh, as a daily driver, yeah. so I have a Honda Accord. Mm -hmm. Yes, very impressive. Uh, find that I get less tickets with uh, something a little more, you know, conservative. Um, and, and, and there's a history with m my family. My dad was actually the first Formula One driver for Honda. So I've always, and, and Honda helped me in my racing career, race Indy cars. They've always helped me with my racing career. My son, who's 20, Spencer Bucknam, he's starting his step through the Formula car ranks to be an Indy car driver. So he's racing a Honda F4 car this year. So they, they're a big help to him, me, my family. And so it's, it's a really great thing. 